Okay, guys, I am still updating you what is going on, what is trending in Nigerian politics. Okay, uh, still on the matter of uh, Chicago State University Certificate of Tinubu with Atiko Abubakar. In my previous video, I updated you that um, the credential were uh, being prepared to be handed over to um, Atiko Abubakar. And then according to the judge of Atiko Abubakar, the administration or administrators of uh, Chicago State University, they have to come and swear and note that the document handed over to them you understand is authentic you know they need to swear and oath they know the offense uh if you swear and oath because according to them they say they don't know the one that the attorney book gave i neck that they cannot swear and oath to that during the hearing and now the I updated you guys that Tinibu had made the last minute move to stop the Chicago State University from releasing those documents to Atiku Abubakar. And now guess what? That US judge orders emergency hearing. Today, District Judge Nancy Maldonado has ordered a virtual emergency hearing at 3 p.m. That is Chicago time and then uh, 4 p.m. New York time. And there is a dialing number for public. The dialing number for the public is, you can see the number on your screen. Uh, that is plus um, 1650 uh, 679-3207. And the access code, you can see. So the plus one, uh, since um, for those ones that are in Nigeria, they need to use the country code. That is uh, the plus one. Then the 650 is the state code. In the US, all the US, they have different um, state codes. Okay, the plus one is the country code, the state code, and the phone number. And then you can use the access code, you know, to also dial in and listen to the drama that is playing on. I mean, <laughs> level day, like seriously, level day. Of course, we know if this were to be in Nigeria, we <clears throat> already know the outcome of what will be the judges. Um, you know, statement or what will be their own judgment. But let us wait and see if the country that, um, you know, that is hold or held on high esteem, now that Tinibu is a public citizen, I mean, why high document? Because one of the reasons why FBI didn't re release um, uh, anything, document about Tinibu was because he was a private citizen. Not as if politics is involved. He was a private citizen. And when Tinibu was sworn in as president, he, he no longer becomes a private citizen. So everything about him, that is the reason why FBI and other security agencies said they have about 2,500 pages of Tinibu's record in the U.S. I mean, what is special about this? I remember when Tinibu said he was the best student in Chicago State University. Now, why difficult now to allow the release of the result? That is the latest update I have for you. I have more controversial updates on this particular issue. I'm updating you guys one after the other. So this is the latest development so far. So good.